Leather and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity Light Server with me, Trios. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all well and good and had a very good weekend. I'm doing fairly well. I had a decent weekend. Um, so, before I start this episode, uh, I want to thank the guys and girls from the Aftershock community. Uh, because you may or may have not have noticed, I've tried my hand at a bit more better, I don't know if it's better, uh, <laughs> sort of thing, uh, doing a more attractive thumbnail sort of thing. I'll put an image up on the screen, what I actually came up with, but hopefully it should be, I think so. Uh, but because I'm not used to actually making them, because normally I just make quick and easy things, which, you know, um, but... I decided to try my hand over the weekend, but because of the guys at the Aftershock community have a bit more experience in this sort of thing, they kindly offered their advice when I asked for it, uh, and the little version of me that's on there, uh, one of the guys there, uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a rather weird name, to, well it's not weird, it's uh, how he wants it. Uh, let me just, I should have got it up beforehand. Uh, let's see if I can find it one second. Um, ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Uh, T Tree Rex Audi Sapling. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, because uh, he actually made that for me, and I thought that was brilliant. Even though it's, I'm looking around for a better skin than what I am, uh, or even trying to think about making a custom one. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to put a link to his description. Uh, sorry, his channel in my description. See, get it right away around. <laughs> and, uh, you know, go and uh, support him. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, as the title may suggest, uh, we're going to be doing some building today. And I'm going to be getting the uh, middle part of the Atlantis build. Uh, not necessarily finished, but at least the majority of it done. So, uh, let's get over there and get building, shall we?
Shut up and sit down. Uh, quite an experience. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I know it was just basically a case of uh, placing the same block over and over again. Uh, but luckily with the magic builder's wand here that we have, uh, it did cut the experience down uh, quite dramatically. So yeah, let's have a quick look at what we've actually made here. Uh, basically a large... Uh, Superman symbol basically <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah this is kind of what I was thinking anyways of doing not just having it on one flat level actually having a little bit of dimension hello uh, I see a mistake there uh, so what's that supposed to be that's a four so that needs to be a three and that yeah basically I need to destroy that line and put it there uh, that's an easy fix. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Spotted the mistake already. There's always going to be one mistake. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So what I am thinking of doing now is, if I zoom in, let's have a look. I think roughly the center is going to be where that block is, just there. Um, which is going to be a bit hard to see on this gray. Let's see if I can actually find it let's do a is it no f7s the light there we go f9 to get the trunks up just to try and get things organized so i think have i got anything on me nope i have not it would help if i have something on me okay so uh let's just get a little bit of dirt just to mark things out you know what i'm like with dirt uh, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, roughly th there, I would say. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that would look about right. So there, that would be uh, one one of the main towers going to be going roughly around there. But what I'm going to do is dig round this area. Let me get rid of the borders. Uh, for an area where the tower is going to be then put another row of plastic blocks around it. it I know it's hard to explain but uh, let me just actually do something. Oh yes, uh, during the uh, time lapse there I did actually make a couple of new tools. The stone pickaxe um, which has got silk touch on it and uh, quite a bit of um, redstone on it as well. Uh, and it's a fairly decent pickaxe considering it's made out of stone and whatnot. Uh, I did put mining 
uh, the yeah, sharpening stone on it to make it up to a cobalt and then uh, I made a silk touch pearl on it uh, one of these guys which is easy enough to make uh, if you don't know it's just an emerald with silky cloth and that silky cloth is made by gold sanded by strength so I've got plenty of everything with for that uh, I also made uh, this chisel here which is a diamond chisel like so uh, with a gold and redstone first time I actually made one of these so uh, yeah kind of cool and I uh, found out it's a little bit easier to do if I can use it ain't it gonna work for me this month today uh, obviously not um, oh there we go uh, it's decided to work now but yeah you can see that I can select which ones I want to alter and if I select it and then I can also alter them to have um, these sort of things the hollow uh, ones and then this plus symbol as well so yeah and also if I press uh, shift I can do both of them at the same time which them all so that's kind of cool uh yeah oh i think we've had a bit of a server problem so i'll be back in one second that's okay so after enough. that quick little fault that's the first hopefully that's not a sign for things to come uh but maybe the service due for a restart anyway uh but anyway uh so yeah that uh chisel that i was talking about that eye chisel comes in very handy especially in this uh but i did make this silky tone silky touch pick i can't speak today at all sorry uh <laughs> And, um, yeah, I made it because of the stone, basically. Uh, because, obviously, if I did that with a normal uh, pick, then, obviously, I'll just get cobblestone there, which I didn't want to do. Uh, so I thought that right, I'd better make a, uh, a silk touch so I could uh, pick it up. But then I ended up using chisel, so, obviously, chisel I can just do whatever with. Uh, so, yeah, this is the uh, underground bit now. So plenty of room, but I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I'll probably just use this area for cable management, if anything, uh, because it's not very tall. It's only about four or five tall. Uh, so if I've got a lot of cables, water cables and things like that, then uh, maybe something. Ah, I just need to find my way out now. <laughs> there we are. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, obviously any hints, comments, suggestions, put them down in the comment section of what you might think. Uh, but yeah, obviously there's still a lot of building to do because uh, I've got those piers to make now. Uh, I might make them before I do the actual main structure there so I know what room I've got on them. Uh, so how many, plus I've got that area to fix. So what we're talking here, one, two, three, four, five, at least six piers going out in different directions-ish to try and make. Uh, so yeah, I think we've done fairly well today. Uh, I am going to end the episode here because I'm not too sure how much of the um, fast build I'm going to be using on it. Because obviously it's very repeatable, so it may be a little bit of a short episode. But just to be on the safe side, I will end it here. So I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And obviously if you've got any hints, tips, suggestions, comments, or just want to say hi, feel free to put that in the comment section below. But regardless, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.